myself dr leena c shekhar associate professor and head department of computer applications mbs college marambadi today i am going to discuss about one of the important topic in operating system that is demand paging the virtual memory which is a fundamental concept in operating system that provides an abstraction of the storage resources that are available on a computer the virtual memory concept allows the computer to effectively manage and use its physical memory by using the disk space as an extension of ram that is the main memory when needed this is done to provide the illusion of much larger and continuous block of memory than is physically available virtual memory is implemented by the concept of demand paging and in demand paging we are taking a page from the secondary memory and bringing that into the main memory with the demand paged virtual memory the pages are only loaded when they are demanded during the program execution the pages that are never accessed are thus never loaded into the physical memory when we want to execute a process we swap it into memory rather than swapping the entire process into memory we use a lazy swapper a lazy swapper that is nothing but a swapper that manipulates the entire process whereas a pager that is concerned with individual pages of a process when a process is to be swapped in the pager guesses which pages will be used before it is swapped out again and we can provide the protection mechanism with the help of a valid invalid bit associated with the page table and if the bit is valid the corresponding page is available in the main memory and if it is represented by i then that page is in the secondary memory a page table when some of the pages are not in the main memory is shown in this particular figure here it is clear that the bit v that is specified for the frame or the pages which are available in the main memory and the bit i that shows those pages are not in the main memory and whenever we demand a page that is not in the main memory then a procedure called page fault occurs and if there is a reference to page marked invalid then the first reference to that page will trap to the operating system and the various steps for handling the page fault they are initially we are checking whether that particular page is marked as valid or invalid then if it is invalid then that will be a trap to the operating system and the operating system then load that corresponding page from the secondary memory to the physical memory where the corresponding frame is free and after loading the page from the into the main memory the page table that is revalidated that is it will be marked from invalid to valid and after that the execution will restart now if the pages if the main memory is full with frames and if there is no space to load a particular page then we have to use certain page replacement algorithms so the operating system determines where the desired page is residing on the disk but then finds that there are no free frames on the free frame list and all the memory is in use and if no such frame is free we find one that is not currently being used and freed we can free a frame by writing its contents to swap space and changing the page table to indicate that the page is no longer in memory and in order to find the location of the desired page on the disk first of all we have to find a free frame and if there is a free frame we can use it and if it is not free use a page replacement algorithm in order to select a victim page when we select a page for replacement we examine its modify bit if the bit is set we know that the page has been modified since it was read in from the disk in this case we must write that page to the disk if the modify bit is not set the page has not been modified since it was read into memory this particular graph shows that when the number of frames 
increases the corresponding page fold also increases here in this particular graph the page fold versus the number of frames here it is clear that as the number of frames increases the number of page fold decreases so in the page replacement algorithms the first type of page replacement is fifo page replacement that is first in first out and this is one of the simplest replacement algorithm and here when a page must be replaced, the oldest page is chosen. We can create a FIFO queue in order to hold all pages in memory and we replace the pages at the head of the queue. When a page is brought into memory, we insert it at the tail of the queue. This is one particular example shown for the FIFO page replacement. The reference string is given here and whenever a page is referenced and if it is not available in the main memory, we can say that it is a page fold. Otherwise, it will be a hit to the main memory. Now, an alternative to this replacement algorithm, we can say that one anomaly, Bilades anomaly is there and where the page fault rate increase as the number of frames increases. In the case of optimal page replacement, we are replacing the page that will not be used for the longest period of time. The same reference string is shown here. But the disadvantage of this optimal page replacement is that we must know the future references of a particular page. So, the optimal page replacement algorithm that is used mainly for the comparison studies. And the last type of page replacement algorithm is LRU page replacement. And here we replace a page that has not been used for the longest period of time. So, in the case of optimal page replacement, we are searching in the forward direction. And in the case of LRU replacement, we are searching in the backward direction.